Marriage Penalty Update for SSI, Supplemental Security Income. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know, as well as answers to your questions right here in the video. Let's get right into it. I right, know in this video, I do want to specifically focus on the marriage penalty and how this pertains to SSI, Supplemental Security Income, as this is a question that I do get on a very regular basis from those of you right here in this community. So here's what I want to focus on here in this video. I want to give the latest updates on the marriage marriage penalty and where we currently stand. I do want to talk about a piece of legislation that is out there right now to remove and repeal the marriage penalty, which we all know is very much out of date as of right now. And also, I do want to talk about how this impacts your monthly benefit as in dollars and percentages, because I can give you a little hint. It is a lot of money that the marriage penalty actually inflicts on SSI beneficiaries. We've got a lot to cover here in the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details really fast before we do. Thanks for joining me. If you have not done so yet, make sure to do yourself a huge, huge favor. Hit that subscribe button right down below the video. I'm here for you every single day, no matter what, to help you out in any way that I possibly can, keeping you updated what's actually going on and how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, anything popping up you can possibly grab or take advantage of. And again, I'm here to advocate on your behalf in any way that I possibly can. Also, right down below the video next to the subscribe button, make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. There's a lot of people out there that are wondering what is going on with the marriage penalty. That's exactly what we're focusing on right here in this video. Again, please subscribe, share the video, and let's get into it and talk about what's going on, where do we currently stand, and what are all the dollar amounts and percentages behind this? Because this is a very much out of date rule with SSI. And again, this is impacting checks in a major, major way. And I also do wanna give you a quick example here in this video as well, where I will lay this all out so you can clearly see the impact of the dreaded marriage penalty, which by the way, let me throw this out there really quickly. This is specifically focused on SSI, okay? If you are an SSDI beneficiary, as in Social Security Disability Insurance Beneficiary, this does not necessarily apply to you. The, uh, the marriage penalty is mostly 100% focused on SSI, Supplemental Security Income, there's about 8 million beneficiaries. So, all right, let's get into the details. I can always make a dedicated video talking about SSDI as well and how this pertains or what you need to know about this. But in this video, we're talking about SSI and the marriage penalty. All right, so let's quickly talk about where we currently stand on this and then we'll jump into the legislation and then of course those examples as well. All right, so as of right now, yeah, unfortunately, the marriage penalty is still in play. They have not removed this yet, even though there is legislation out there. And there are many lawmakers that have agreed this is out of date. We've got to remove this. They haven't done anything yet. Are you shocked? I don't think so, right? We're, we're not shocked whatsoever. We all recognize they talk a big game, but when it comes down to playing, they don't really do a whole lot, right? <laughs> they talk a lot about this. So anyway, this is just another one of those things we can add up and add to the huge pile already that says, great idea, they haven't done it yet. So yes, the marriage penalty, unfortunately, is still in play when it comes to SSI. However, now let me quickly talk about that legislation. There is legislation out there right now to remove the marriage penalty. In fact, there's a standalone bill to do as well as within the SSI Restoration Act, which you've heard me talk about before in other videos, also includes removing the marriage penalty. Again, they have not passed the SSI uh, Restoration Act as of now, okay? So anyway, that's where we currently stand. That's the legislation out there right now. Now, let me give you some examples here because this is one of those things where it's like, okay, what is the impact of the, S um, sorry, of the marriage penalty? Well, let me break it all down for you. Did you realize the marriage penalty results in a 25% reduction to SSI benefits? It's true. Let me give you some real numbers here. Let me give you some percentages and let me walk you through an example, okay? Which by the way, let me throw this out there really fast as well. The numbers I'm gonna be sharing with you here in this video are specifically pertaining to the 2024 SSI maximum benefits, okay? So those are the numbers I'm working with here in this video. All right, so. As you know, 2024, the maximum for an individual is $943. The maximum for a married couple is $1,415 a month. But wait, that seems kind of weird. $943 is a maximum for an individual and $1,415 for a married couple. Hmm. 
That seems a little bit odd, right? You would think that it should just be doubled, the 943 doubled, right? No, it's not because of the marriage penalty. All right, so let me give you this example now that I wanna walk you through. And then again, this will paint a very clear picture of the magnitude and the impact of the marriage penalty. All right, so here we have, we have two people, okay? We have Bob and Mar um, Mary, okay? I'm just making up names here, okay? This is just an example I'm giving you, okay? So we have Bob and we have Mary. They are engaged, they wanna get married. They both receive SSI. Not bad, Bob and Mary. This is awesome, right? Pretty Looking pretty good here. However, as of right now, they're both receiving the maximum, $943 for 2024, okay? So they're both receiving 943. If we add their two benefits up, 943 for Bob, 943 for Mary, we have $1,886 a month is their combined income. Not bad. Again, a pretty nice income for two people right there, right? Again, I completely recognize it's not nearly what everybody needs, but again, that's just what it adds up to. However, now they decide, let's go forward on our engagement. Let's get married. Again, Bob and Mary, congratulations. This is exciting. However, get ready, Bob and Mary, because you're going to see an instant 25% reduction to your monthly benefit. Once they get married, now their benefit is going to go to a couple's benefit, which is $1,415 maximum for 2024. You see that? That is a reduction of, by the way, that's a reduction of 25% or get this, $471 a month is the difference, okay? Remember, they're two benefits as individuals, as engaged couples, they're still individuals, they're not married, they're not legally bound, therefore, they can still get the maximums as individuals. 943 uh, for each of them, multiplied by two people is $1,886 a month. However, the difference between 1886 and 1,415 is again exactly that, $471 a month. So just because these two, in this example here, Bob and Mary, just because they wanted to get married and they got married in my example here, they have now taken on a $471 per month reduction to their benefit, 25% because they got married. Is that not messed up or what? <laughs> you know what I mean? That is 100% messed up. I I'm not sure about you, but that seems... That seems counterintuitive. It just doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know what the logic is behind this. Why would he penalize people for getting married, right? Anyway, this is what it comes down to. So yeah, that is still very much in play, which by the way, $471 a month multiplied by 12 months is, oh, I'm trying to run the math in my head really fast here. It's about 5,000, oh, what is the number on that? 5,000, um, oh man, I'm, 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 it's about $5,500 a year. A little bit more than that, but that's roughly what it is, okay? Imagine that. They've just given up $5,500 a year because they got married. We're not talking like a couple hundred dollars anymore. We're talking serious, serious money, right? That's a lot of money to be foregoing just because they got married. That's weird, okay? So anyway, this is the marriage penalty in full effect right there. And again, this is the example that I wanted to give you. So... Long story short, yes, the marriage penalty is still in play. Yes, there is legislation out there right now, a standalone bill to remove the marriage penalty, as well as the other bill, which is the SSI Restoration Act, both of which would remove the marriage penalty and both of which Congress has done nothing about as of this recording. And again, you can see the numbers that I wanted to share with you right there and the percentages, a 25% reduction, $471 a month from individuals to married couple benefit. And that's what it comes down to. So. Wow, right? Yeah, that's some pretty big stuff right there. So anyway, I want to bring this to your attention so you can see this. I get this question on a very regular basis. Have they removed the marriage penalty yet? No, but again, remember, the last time that SSI was reformed in any major way, and honestly, it wasn't even that major of a way, was in 1989. Prior to that, basically since uh, the inception of this program, but uh, back in 1972, okay? Well, here we are, what is that? 50, what is that even? 52 years ago? Yeah, 52 years ago was the last time that this, um, that well, when this program actually came into play, 52 years ago, 1972, and here we are, and they're still working with the same old rules that were put in 52 years ago. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, <laughs> right? So anyway, I uh, wanna come back for you really quickly, break all the details down because I get this question so often that I thought, you know what? Let's make a dedicated video talking about the marriage penalty. So I hope this one helps you. For those of you that have been asking, I hope this answers the questions for you. If you have any questions, further concerns, stuff like that, please stick it down below in the comment section. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe as you're long, uh, down below the video. 
Share the video with your friends, family, social media. Go back and check out the other thousands of videos here on the channel or check out the ones that I have linked down below in the description. There's a lot of videos down there as well, or a handful at least, and um, some pretty good stuff out there. Either way, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. As always, leave your comments, questions, feedback down below. I can always come back for you, make another dedicated video, or do whatever I can to help you out through this time. Please enjoy your day. I hope this helps you. Have a good one. And remember, I'm here for you every single day, no matter what, to continue to keep you updated and advocating on your behalf. Enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And catch you again later in the next